was born in the east, sort of east coast of China, an urban city called Hangzhou, very near Shanghai, which is, you know, most beautiful city. Yeah. And I grew up singing Uyghur music, which is translated in, into Chinese. And uh, uh, so I thought uh, I'd never been there. And I never visited the Xinjiang area. So, uh, you know, being a musician, being played so many different <laughs> kind of music and work with the different cultural background musicians. And I sort of rethinking, I want to rediscover my roots. And um, because people came from the area. Right now, the instrument you see, it's very much pear-shaped with the four strings and uh, actually very flat, the back. But that kind of a shape uh, came from um, 2,000 years ago, came from Central Asia. This project actually uh, worked a couple years, I, I think two years, and, uh, and more like a coming back to what the people roots and to work with, to play with the people's ancestors, different instruments from Central Asia. From a, from a Uyghur culture. Actually, first time uh, Uyghur musician totally opened up to a Chinese musician. <laughs> and we talk about everything, music, life, and the history. Um, it was really, really touching. This collaboration gave us open mind, gave us a fresh idea, open, this is the first time, actually, first time uh, Central Asian music or musician work with a Chinese musician. This is the big label for this kind of music.